uh, an Italian label called Frontiers um, called us up through uh, Bob Kulik, who was the guitar player, and said, we'd like you to record a new b balance record. Would you do it? And Bob called me and asked me, and I said, yeah, okay. So um, we signed a licensing deal with Frontiers for Europe and Asia, and um, we've been working on it in the States, and it's just about finished, and it, it'll, it'll come out soon. Is there a title? Uh, tentatively, we're calling the title Breathe. Because I think, you know, we're breathing new life again after, uh, again, something similar, being asleep for 30 years, you know. And um, and so I was, I'm happy to do it. You know, it's totally different than Barnaby Bye. But, you know, to me, just like Barnaby Bye is here under the wings of Alessi, really, because they've, they've pioneered, you know, Holland for Barnaby Bye. To me, I, in, in a sense, I feel the same way that, you know, Balance has some cult status in certain pockets and, and stuff. And, but I still like to get Barnaby by out through the wings of the things that I've done as well, too. I said it's that, it's that, it's that, uh, the, there's a joke they call the fish story. It's the, it says the one that got away. You know, when you love somebody and you can't have them and they get away. That's what I keep saying. That's what Barnaby Bay is. To me, it's the fish story. It's the one that got away. So I'm happy to see us back getting something again, you know. The Blues Magoos were um, uh, 1967. And we were a, I was a teenage little rock and roller in the United States and was lucky enough to have a, a top 10 record in, in the States uh, in 1967. And we were pioneers of the psychedelic garage band rock movement. And so now, even since we're still all alive, people like Balance and like all of the old Barnaby Bye fans that wanted us to get back together, people have always said for 40 years, oh, any chance of the Magoos ever doing something? So now there's some festivals and different shows and we signed on with an agency to get back together to do some shows and maybe record a little. And uh, it's, it's fun because it's like breaking the rules. You know, they say you can't go back. But, you know, we're going back and we're having the greatest time because when we were young, we were hungry, you know. Now we've all had careers. It's really not about money to us. It's, it's about the love that we've all shared making the music. And that's the real joy of it. We never fight. We have no arguments. We're, not, we're just having a, you know, in 1972, we'd be, no, 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 don't play that. Oh, I hate that, you know. This time it's been like Mike would turn around to me, Peppy, what should I play? I go, I don't care. <laughs> You're the drummer, play whatever you want, you know? It's a, such a difference, you know? It's to really, really, really enjoy it. It's a reunion, so it's, it's good, but it's something we don't want to end. Okay. All right. yeah. Yes, I, w I would like to um, to uh, say to all our fans, um, especially the ones that, that write to us all the time and say, are you ever going to come to Denmark? Are you ever going to play in Sweden? Or when are you going to come back to, the, to France? Are you going to be in the south of France? Don't give up on us. We'd be there in a heartbeat, and we'll, we'll work on it, working on it all the time. And go to Barnaby Buy. Go to BarnabyBuy.com. Well, I think they know that that will be uh, all over the place. But thanks so much.